Woo! Man. So, been kind of catching up with all the orders for all the stencils, you guys. Uh, but here I got another one for you guys. And it's these nice scroll work we got going around. And this banner here. Uh, it's a scroll master set. Comes with 11 different pieces. Uh, so that you can make nice scroll designs like these. Um, pretty easily. And they're kind of like um, modular. So if you need to make like a nice piece going around, you know, just in, the, you know, in a frame. Or you can, you know, also extend them pretty much in any direction. Um, they come pre-cut and they're nice and fine cut with all these lines pre-cut for you. Again, they're made out of uh, tear resistant, chemical resistant plastic. Not plastic. So, you know, if you want to use your automotive paints on there, that's great. They work great with Createx. Pretty much anything you want to spray on them. You can clean them off, wash them off afterwards, and you're good to go. <clears throat> As always, if you want to get your hands on these, the website is www.mikesbrush.com. No error in there, just Mike's Brush, just like it is right here. <clears throat> and that'll lead you to these stencils right here. Um, so yeah, As, anyways, I'll let you guys watch this video explaining how to use the stencil. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> What's up, guys? So here we got the video for the Scroll Master set. And I'm just going to start laying the pieces on here. So first we have a nice banner piece, right? Which is pretty self-explanatory. It's like a banner. And, uh, I'm just going to start by laying that guy in there. And it also includes two large filigree style type scrolls and we're just going to go ahead and lay these in here so it includes two of these so we're going to wear work our way up the sides here when i started by laying that one on that side i'm going to lay the other side These are nice and detailed and pre-cut stencils. And again, I used to have, I remember cutting a lot of these with paper. You know, paper was my choice because it was just so easy to cut and sometimes you gotta make so many. <clears throat> Includes two of these medium sized pieces. Right, so we're going to bring these off of you see these lines here. We're going to just flow with the lines. Now we're just going to bring it out here, like so, giving us a nice fill in there. And then the same thing on the other side. You know, follow the flow, kind of find that place there. And we're going to stick it on this side. You can see it's already starting to shape up pretty nice. It's pretty self-explanatory. Then we got these circle pieces, right? So we're going to take one of these. And you see this this piece here? Maybe we're maybe on this side. Yeah, there you go. And to put it right up in there to bring our wings out up this way. So, all right, same thing on the other side. We want those little wings to come up. All right, so that's six uh, scroll pieces so far. Also included in the set are these nice little leaflings. So we're gonna go ahead and take some of these leaflings and maybe we want this one right here just to split it up. No, maybe not. Because we can't fit it on that side. So maybe we want it hmm, maybe coming out right here. 
It looks like a good spot. And again, you just want to kind of follow the flow of things. And last but not least, we got two very small little detail scrolls here. Now these, you could uh, place them and move them as you're working along. But just for this particular picture, I'm just going to go ahead and just place it up here so that you guys can see what it looks like. I'm just following the design on the other side. And there you go. Make sure it's all nice and flat. And we can spray our scrolls on. And all I've done is reduced a little bit of black a little bit. Alright, and we're going to start I'll just paint it in. Make sure you hit all the lines inside of it. So here at this point, um, what I like to do is kind of blend them in a little bit. So I'll take this big piece here, right, and we'll take this one off. And we can do that on both sides. And then we just want to follow our lines and kind of shade it in a little bit. Hit the edge of this stencil, coming off of that stencil. And same thing, just work our way down here. Or do the same thing on the other side. Hit that edge. Peel the next layer off. And it's always possible if you just wanted to keep going, right? And you could just add this up here. Right, and they're kind of all made to work together. So you just follow the flow of the lines and you can kind of get your own little style going. Just like that. Just kind of blow it in, bring in some shadows. And this would have saved me so much time back in the day. So, so much time. And even now, to this day, it's going to save me a lot of time using these. You're able to get nice, clean looking professional results in a matter of, you know, seconds. This guy here. Maybe we're gonna bring him over to this side here. Bam. Same thing for this guy. Alright, we're gonna bring him over here. Wow, right, in no time we've created some amazing looking scrolls, some nice patterns. 
And again, you can use these on pretty much anything, right? If you just want to use them on your shoes or something, or you know, if you have a low rider, you want to use it on that. Obviously, those work pretty good for that. And then we can just take off our biggest piece here. And they're made out of uh, tear resistant plastic, so as long as you're a little bit careful, you know, you're not trying to completely rip them off of there. You know, they come off in one piece. You don't have to worry about them ripping right away like paper or anything like that. They'll last you, you know, pretty much forever. And after you're done, if you need to clean them in thinner, mineral spirits, whatever it is that you use, you know, <clears throat> this this will be, these are, you know, good for that. So you can use whatever you want on that. So and let's go ahead and hit these edges in. And we're fitting in our banner. There you go. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, takes all the work out of it. So if you have to fill in a pretty large area with these, as you can see, we got these done in no time. There you go guys uh, hopefully this helps some of you guys out right and as always thank you for ordering the stencils um, there'll be many more to come uh, when you order one of these stencils remember that you're ordering directly from me it's not like a not like some third party site or something like that where somebody else making money We're just helping another artist, uh, you know, pay his bills pretty much. So, thank you guys again for ordering all these stencils. It's really been helping out. I'll get back to my painting. And if you want to get yourself one of these stencils, make sure you check out mikesbrush.com. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.